Hello and welcome to Sword Talk number 45, I think it is. I think it's 45. Um, welcome to Sterling Armory Sword Talk. If you're new to the channel, uh, we do a Sword Talk uh, podcast uh, on everything sword related. And it's been a while since we've done one because, you know, as always, we're, <laughs> I think, in the last several Sword Talk, we've talked about how busy we are. Um, but we wanted, we have a lot coming up for the end of the year that we wanted to talk about. So today it's just Warbear and I. So let me bring Warbear on. And real quick, uh, my name is Chris, uh, sword maker, uh, aerospace engineer, and uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say there. <laughs> so, well, uh, I, have, I have to follow that act, I guess. Yeah. Well, yours is just as good or better. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Warbear. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Warbear underscore Armory. You can find me uh, on Facebook at Joshua Von Warbear. Um, I am a sword maker, prop maker, and adult industry pioneer. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. And uh, you can find us all uh, at Sterling Armory on the various social media platforms. So Facebook mainly is where we're at. Um, and then Instagram, and then if you find us here on YouTube, uh, I think there's a TikTok out there. I, I know it's there. I forgot I, forgot I, I had a TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done anything on it. Um, uh, before we jump into the topics today, we usually go over what we're drinking. So I got something neat. Um, if you're in Florida, uh, they have Publixes, and Publix just started carrying this uh, Feist beer. So it's like a German um, festive lager for the holidays, which is nice. Or not holidays, uh, fall. There you go, fall lager. And it's quite good. So Nice. I'm polishing off a Coca-Cola and then uh, having a water uh, <laughs> see. on the bottle that is the peanut butter and jelly mead. Oh, um, yeah. Hopefully we can still get that. Peanut butter and jelly crime. Oh, which you can still order, I guess, through, uh, you get through Total Wine, and then a couple okay. places in Arizona have it in Phoenix. But the food place that we used to go to has closed down. So, yeah. Sad. Yeah. You think, he, I don't think I've seen that Publix is here, or not Publix, sorry, Total Wine, Total Wine here. Yeah. You think we can get it, though? If we ask Maybe. for it? Maybe. I mean, it should, okay. it should be able to. You yeah. might have to special request it and have to order like a minimum case or something like that, but yeah, should be able to. All right. Well, it's been quite so. We've had a bunch of videos. Our YouTube has been posting videos, uh, a couple different vlogs, and a couple different things. Um, but we haven't done a sword talk in a bit, so we wanted to jump on because we have uh, some cool events coming up, and we wanted to not just talk about them, but also show how to get to them online, and hopefully everyone can join us there. Um, do you want to? So we've been helping a little lot. Not me. <laughs> so Warbear has been helping uh, a little bit uh, with the first event, so which is Fright Fight in Phoenix coming up. Fright Fight uh, 2024. Yeah. So we did a. We had a really great uh, first annual Fright Fight last year. It was the first one, right? Yeah. And um, we did a vlog about it, but I forgot to post it last year. <laughs> so I have a lot of video from Fright Fight. 2023 and apparently there hasn't been much uh video from that one uh out there yet so yeah. I, I don't know if this will i think this sword talk will post first but then the fright fight uh fright fight <laughs> don't say it too fast uh vlog from last year will post uh and there's a lot of great information on there uh we got a little cheeky coming in um so hopefully the venue is amazing it's really cool to see <laughs> You hear the chicken? Mmm, chicken nugget. <laughs> it's a little chicken nugget. Um, Chubby says hi. Chubby. Chubby says hi. hi. Um, but the venue is amazing. It's a great event for, or a great venue for HEMA events. And that is one of the big things I, sh I wanted to showcase in the vlog. And the overall event, all the things you get to do, um, it was just a very fun tournament. So, Hopefully the vlog will really show folks how it'll go this year um, and uh, get more people to come out. Although uh, it looks like, I think we can see it on the webpage, right? I guess first let me share 
I'm trying to remember how I did that. <laughs> I'm getting reused to stream yards because we haven't been on here in a while. Uh, Present. There, yep, yep. there we go. Uh, so that's a different event we're going to talk about later. <laughs> here we go. Bright fight. Perfect. Um, First try. Yeah. Is this the flyer you did? or? Uh, yep. That's the flyer. I, I've been helping out with a little bit of graphic design. Design awesome. the skull and the swords. I was given that and then uh, uh, as assets. And then I, I, I messed a flyer together really quick for him and then helped out with the t-shirt as well. Awesome. So, yeah. That's uh, that's our flyer for the event. It's going to be great. Awesome, and we'll share these on our social media. So if you're on the Sterling Army page, you'll be able to find um, uh, the Fright Fight flyer, uh, as well as we'll post the vlog and then the link. So the frightfight.info is their web page. So that is this page here. And yeah, so you can go to frightfight.info, um, go to tournaments if you want to... Uh, or I'm sorry, go to buy tickets if you want to see what's available. And I think a lot of things are sold out, right? So there's not much. A couple, left. yeah. Yeah. How do I sh sh get to there? Here we go. So as you see, uh, saber cutting, continuous fencing, long sword. There's a lot of stuff sold out here, but there's still a lot of wait, events. Wait, wait, wait. Scroll back up. Scroll back up. The pistol duel is still still there. We got no, and there's a lot remaining for that too. That was a very fun event to watch last year. I think we yeah. should probably we should probably go for the pistol duel this time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna do it this time. Yeah, um, I'll sign up too. I forgot to tell uh, Russell I wanted to do that. Um, I need to tell him that. Uh, so yeah, the pistol duel is a lot of fun. You have two old style pistols, but they're paintball guns, and uh, you square off and. It's like a 1700s, 1800s duel. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, so the other cool thing about the event is they have, uh, I think it's is it Saturday or Friday. Well, we have Friday, a, Saturday, a, Sunday. For the feast, though, that's Saturday night or Friday. I can't remember which day it is. But they have yeah. a full dinner for everybody uh, if if you sign up for it, and uh, which is super cool. Is it on? The, is it on this list? Yeah, it's right here. Uh, so that's if you have if you sign up for the tournament, it's free. Um, but if you bring, uh, I think you can sign up and you get an extra person, right? Or it's either one adult or two kids, if I remember right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if you have more than that, then it's an extra ten bucks to do the feast. But it's well Which worth it. Is yeah, isn't bad at all. Totally well worth no. it, especially if it's anywhere near as good as it was last year. Last year, right. I was amazed at how decent the food was. Yeah, I went back two or three times. So. <laughs> as did i my friend as yeah did I. so the, so the what's available so rapier fighting is still open rapier uh saber is still available which is surprising because those usually go pretty quick um the steel disc is still available for women and then it shows advanced cutting but i think he said advanced cutting did get capped off it's just not updated here yet mm. so there's still a lot to do um but general mission i mean General mission is always open, so uh, yeah. even if you're not coming to compete, uh, we'd love to see you in the audience, and then we'll have all the vendors there as well, so you can come see our booth. Yeah, um, yeah, should be a good time. Uh, if you're also if you're a school and you want to participate, kind of deal, and you need flyers to give out, please contact either one of us, either through Facebook, through Instagram, or our emails, which I've checked recently. And I'll give you flyers, or send you out some flyers, or bring them to you if you're local. Uh, and I've checked my uh, War Bear at Sterling Armory email for the first time in like, when did you give us that? Like three years ago? Uh, longer than that. <laughs> I, <laughs> I had seven messages, seven yeah, unread yeah. messages. Um, and none of them were important. It wasn't even people. It was just like, here's things Aww. you may have missed. Aww. I know. I was real sad. I was like, man, I thought I was going to be talking to some people about some swords. Nope. Yeah. It was just I'll like, we've updated the email check out this new eggshell white i'm gonna send you an email for a sword request <laughs> 10 bucks says a yeah. i'm not gonna get it for another three years yeah, and no. B, it's gonna look like a shovel with eight fullers yep <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i don't mean oh, to harm on you guys oh, if oh, you, if you send sword. us yeah. insane anime swords i'm gonna we're gonna look at it and just go oh, oh my god <laughs> 
you know, it looks cool to you because you don't have to make it or attempt to think <laughs> about how to make it, you know, and that's awesome. More power yeah. to you, but, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I guess the best way to reach out to us is through Facebook. Yep, Facebook, whether it's our Sterling Armory or our personal ones, just reach yeah. out. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll see everybody there, especially if you're in the Phoenix or surrounding areas. Um, uh, yeah, I'm excited. So there, there's more and more HEMA tournaments popping up, including this one. So the bigger uh, the community is slowly growing, and it's just a, such a great community. And uh, all the Definitely. events have been a lot of fun. And yeah, I'm excited to, to get back to this one. And a big, big thank you to Russ for for spearheading this and popping on. He's yeah. really, really going the extra mile to try and cement the community uh, tighter together. It's really yeah. Cool stuff. I mean, he really just took the reins on this one, right, and took it over and, and yep. make it made sure it's happening. Yeah, which is awesome. Um, Very cool. So then after, oh, also I forgot to mention, um, tournament rules are here because that's always a for the competitors. That's always a big question. Um, but they, my link will work. There we go. Tournament rules. So they have right on the webpage, all the rules listed out. I was going through, uh, the cutting rules cause I'll be competing in cutting. So when you click on any of the rule sets, they all come up. They're all right there. You can also get to these through human scorecard. Uh, the human scorecard link, I believe brings you right back to this one. Um, but all the rules are there. Uh, so if you have any questions on the rules, uh, you know, for longsword, sword and buckler, uh, anything, any competition, they're all already up there. And uh, they do get updated And if, you, if you're if you competing and they update the rules, they will actually email those updates to you directly. So that was according to Russ earlier today. Uh, so, yeah, excited for that. And then uh, pretty much the weekend. So this is October 20, 25th to the 27th. And then the following weekend starts our biggest event, at least for us in Florida, uh, on this side, which is the Sarasota Medieval we Fair. We award the Sarasota yeah. Renaissance Fair is upon us. It is. And and uh, for a lot of folks watching on the HEMA side, this show is a little different for us um, in terms of what we make and what we sell. Um, so at the Sarasota Medieval Fair, it's kind of uh, how well, it is how we started in making, at least for me. Um, where I started in making blades for stage combat and theater and film, but I wanted to make stage blades that were more realistic to original pieces because that was one of the niches I think that just we didn't have, um, you know, here in Florida. Um, so you either had your really heavy crowbar stage blades, or you had like somebody buying a Hanway or, or you know, production blade that should be sharp and then they dulled it. And they were fighting with that. And when you use those two together, it just doesn't work. <laughs> so, so I wanted to kind of fill the niche of, hey, here's a sword you can fight with for stage against anything, um, but it does feel like a real blade. So that's how we kind of started. And uh, that's still one of our biggest customer bases and one of right. our favorite customer bases because when we hang out at the fair, drink meat all day, it's really more about hanging out with the people, you know, than it is about sword sales. So, it, it's uh, honestly, I love doing sword conventions, but I miss hanging out at Renaissance Fair with you and all my other friends. Yeah, the most out of good. anything I've done in a long time. Yeah, it's it's such a good time, and we have uh, you know other vendors at the show that are really good friends uh, yep. that are usually booths right next to us. It's uh, also kind of my bread and butter because I do you know the the swords for you know, the the sharps and the. And the uh, the the blunts, but I also do the leathers for people that yeah. need the leather costumery, right. and people really really love that. I love making it, and people love grabbing it. So yeah, and this year I, I think this is an it's an extra weekend this year. <laughs> so uh, so I think it's five weekends this year because November is long this year, right? Let me pull that up real quick. Tis. So yeah, it goes uh, second and third, uh, ninth and tenth. 16th and 17th, 23rd and 24th, and 30th and 1st. So that is a lot. Yes. Um, that's more than we normally do. So uh, so if you're in the uh, Florida area, it's like Tampa Bay-ish area. It's actually a little south of Tampa Bay. It's about an hour south. Um, 
uh, come on by and check out our booth and check out the fair. Um, the, the medieval fair is, is it's been growing and getting bigger. They own their own land now. And they have this huge pub they built, which is pretty incredible. <laughs> really awesome. And uh, they have their joss is great. Uh, they have the chess match. That's great. You'll see a lot of our blades in, uh, being used there. And uh, yeah, just an overall great time. And I mean, join us and drink a lot of mead and and just hang out. <laughs> so stop by and challenge me to an arm wrestling uh, contest, which I will cheat. <laughs> yeah. so, be prepared uh, for that. Yeah. I'm about to, uh, I got to start ramping up to get blades made for this because currently I don't have any uh, stage blades available. Uh, Man, you, you've, you've been on the run. You've been I know. on the run. Yeah, I just got back from, you know, big trip in Europe and um, studying a lot of blades, which is a lot of fun, but it did take up a lot of time. Um, so, yeah, we um, hopefully I'll have about 10 to 15 ish blades and then we'll have some blades from, from War Bear, hopefully. And um, I, oh, I did want to have four four or five left over. I haven't been able to work in the shop for the past, I don't know, four or five months just because the Balrog that is Arizona heat has been present for quite a while. Yeah. So there's a couple new pieces. So for those in Sarasota, if you guys are watching, uh, you know, local, and I, I will, I hope to have a couple new pieces that we've never had out before for stage pieces, such as some Rondell daggers, um, uh, a couple other smaller pieces and smaller items that I, I know they're always asked for, but we've never had them. Um, we will have more daggers. I know we're very probably, I think you have some daggers, right? Uh, three, Colt has some. I think I have three. Be- okay, well, hopefully, you can get some more <laughs> by, by that time. I, I do have um, blades ground yeah. out, I just need to order bronze again. Yeah, so that'll be again, great show. Um, and it runs for an extra long time period this time. So, yeah, hopefully we'll see you. Um, now, this also means for those, so I have a few requests of blades I'm currently making, and I've spoken to those people already, but if you want to get a blade from us in November, it's going to be a little tricky. <laughs> so, at least for me, uh, yep. because every weekend is taken up with this show. Yep. So that's usually our slower time in terms of making things. Um but Colton, I don't know. We don't know if Colton's able to make it down, so he might be able to, to make some blades in that time. Um, so hopefully he'll be on with us next time uh, to, to talk about it. Uh, but yeah, so those are our two big events coming up. And uh, that's going to take us all the way to the end of the year, pretty much. So, And then we go back around again, except for this year is the last combat con. I know. Maybe. Might be. Some eccentric yeah. millionaire or, you know, semi-rich person could take it over and do some crazy stuff with it. That would be great. Yeah, yeah. I'm so hoping it moves to Salt Lake. <laughs> so that's my hope. That's honestly, I, if, you yeah. know, I, the two schools of thought for me. Yeah. Um, it's already here in the West. I think either Arizona or Salt Lake. Um, either one of those, as I say Arizona, I mean Phoenix. It's either Phoenix or Salt Lake. Either of those two, I think, are the winning option. I think it'll be cheaper for people to travel there. I think it'll be cheaper for people to stay there. That's more money that people can spend on swords. And yeah. that's what we really all want. Yeah. I mean, and, and you know, a lot of the folks who are at Combat Con are either from Salt Lake or from Phoenix, right? Or, or SoCal. Or SoCal, so, yeah. And there's, all, there's Salt Lake Open that happens. So I'm wondering if those could kind of merged into one but i don't know right that's that's my in my ideal world that's that's what would happen but right so yeah we'll see yeah. there's also some other so uh socal is later in the year it's in march this year instead of february mm. so that might open up uh, a blade show for us and we hope to do at least one blade show next year um atlanta or texas uh well atlanta would be the big one but if we could do at least Salt Lake in Atlanta, that would be great. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's really all we had to cover today. It's a little short sword talk today, and we're only at about 20 minutes here. But um, we definitely have a lot of sword talks to catch up on because we had some folks send in some requests. Um, and we're getting all the messages, and, and uh, or at least I'm getting all the messages and uh, comments uh, on the videos which has been great we got actually I, when i was uh in europe 
I started getting ping, 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 and it was a bunch, some, a couple of people, I guess, just recently found the channel, and they were commenting on every video, which was great. So, did any of uh, them comment on how handsome I was? All, all of them. Thanks, man. I know you're lying, and that's cool. No, but I appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate that that's what happened. Oh, like, my well, mustache makes it look like I only have one tooth. <laughs> I just know I didn't notice it until you said it. <laughs> I promise they're there. <laughs> I looked at it, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's stupid. Yeah. yeah, I didn't notice that. I'm gonna have to trim that thing. But we have uh so a couple of topics coming up and if you guys want to weigh in on. So I sent out a poll uh to a lot of uh HEMA guys, stage combat guys, sword users in general, and makers, and I said, What surface finish on the blades do you prefer? And pretty much everybody had the same answer, which was surprising. To Satin. Me. Uh, kinda, but we'll, that'll be another sword talk coming up. So if you have a suggestion there or, an, or if you have a preference there, let us know below. Uh, and then there's a couple other things on sword sharpness. Um, uh, I'm blanking on the other, but there, I have like six or seven different uh, sword talk topics for us to go over. So plus we haven't had. Uh, sword movie trivia in a while so right yeah we gotta dig that out so yeah so i guess that's about it for tonight um yeah we'll call it there and uh yeah please if you have any other topics you wanted to discuss if if you can go back and and in our sword talk uh, archive there if you go on youtube and you go to a playlist you'll see the sword talk playlist there's a bunch there um if, if you haven't seen them all, check them out. And if, if there's a topic that you want us to bring up again, feel free because this is going on two years now, right? I think it's been, Has it been? yeah, at least a year and a half. Oh, um, I guess it ha is more than that. It's more than a year because we, we were recording while I was in Utah. And that was yeah. over a year and a half ago. That's wild. Yeah. So there's we haven't went back and redid any topic yet. So it might we be get time paid for that for it. Did we get I know, right? That would be nice. <laughs> you get <paid> this? Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, all righty. Well, uh, we'll call it there. Again, I'm Chris. Uh, find us at Sterling Armory. And uh, I'm Warbear. Josh Warbear. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys. Right. Peace.